Global warming occurs when carbon dioxide and other air pollutants and greenhouse gases collect in the atmosphere and absorb sunlight and solar radiation that have bounced off the Earth's surface. While about 81% of greenhouse gas is made up of carbon dioxide, it also includes methane, nitrous oxide, water vapor, and CFCs. The molecules of these gases stay in the atmosphere and capture sunlight radiation. Since they can't escape, the molecules move around constantly, creating kinetic energy that causes global warming. This is called the greenhouse effect. In the United States, the burning of fossil fuels to make electricity is the largest source of heat trap and pollution, producing about 2 billion tons of CO2 every year. Coal burning power plants are by far the biggest polluters. The country's second largest source of carbon pollution is the transportation sector, which generates about 1.7 billion tons of CO2 emissions per year. Since 1880, the average global sea level has been rising. This is due to global warming, the melting of ice sheets and glaciers. Due to sea level rise, people are experiencing increased flooding, decreased property values, and stronger hurricanes. There is no greater threat facing the future of South Florida than the accelerating pace of sea level rise. Over the past century, the sea level has risen 9 inches. Sea levels are rising for two reasons, the first one being melting glaciers. Oceans expand if they are warming. Glaciers at high altitudes melt and glacier sizes decrease. Over the last 150 years, sea levels rise is mostly due to the retreat of glaciers and expansion of the ocean, also known as thermal expansion. The second reason for the rise of sea levels is the ocean heating. The ocean stores more than 90% of the heat in Earth's climate system and acts as a buffer against the effects of climate change. A small change in the mean temperature of the ocean creates a very large change of the total heat content of the climate system. In 2007, the surface temperature of the ocean was the highest it's been in 30 years. Two point four million people in one point three billion homes, nearly half the risk nationwide, sit within four feet of the local high tide line. Global average sea level has gone up about eight inches since eighteen eighty. Overall, sea level rise is making the odds of a South Florida flood reaching more than 4 feet above high tide by 2050. Projections made by the U.S. National Research Council suggest possible sea level rise of 13 inches by 2050. A study done in 2016 concludes that coming decades sea level rises could accelerate exponentially with doubling time of, two, of 10, 20, or 40 years. By 2010, Miami beaches and Florida Keys could begin to vanish.